Well, if you wanted us to remember, say, three things that we could start doing this week, just mm -hmm. to have um, healthier bodies and a healthier environment. Um, I know there's all kinds of things, so we can go to your blog and learn that as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. But is there three things that you'd like to tell us, you know, the audience that's listening today, just what, what could we start doing? It's kind of easy. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I would say is the, the messages that you're receiving, kind of think through those. Um, the milk message you're receiving is paid for by milk. Right. Um, so kind of f look for the knowledge that is helping you not helping a company or someone make profits. Maybe and be that, a little bit more skeptical about some of these. Definitely, okay. definitely need to be more skeptical. Skeptical. Go to my website at cleanlife.org and find stuff there. Right. Um, okay, so message number two is definitely shop at farmers markets. DC has one of the highest ratios of farmers markets to people in the country. Oh wow! And they're also highly regulated. Um, and the regulations are different than what most people would think, but just know that they're highly regulated. And if you're in other cities like New York or LA, you have to be a little more circumspect about the food being sold to you because sometimes it's just supermarket food being sold at a farmer's market. Wow. Mm -hmm. but, but here, there, it's farm food. It's sold yeah, by independent yeah. farmers. Yes, yes, definitely. It's very confusing. I'll just say it's, it's farm food. That's okay. the that. <laughs> um, So a couple tips for shopping at farmer's markets. Okay. Um, the most popular places and the most expensive places are the bread, cheese, and meat. And those are probably the what you don't want to buy at a farmer's market. I mean, they're good for you, but the bulk of what you should be spending your money on are the fruits and vegetables. Okay. Um, so, and to follow along with that, fruits and vegetables at a farmer's market are seasonal. Farmers grow them, they harvest them, and they bring them to market. And so if you go buying what the farmers have, it'll be the cheapest and the best. But if you go buying, like, for what you want or what you think is, you know, you're craving at the time, they'll probably have it, but it'll be overpriced and right. not as high quality. So buy seasonal. Buy seasonal. Buy what? But what's in abundance? Mm -hmm. If you buy what's in abundance, it'll be cheap. That's just like a market dynamic, right? Like mm -hmm. the, the more there is, the cheaper it is kind of a thing. So Okay, so, so farmer's markets are one way that we can just start mm -hmm. this week. There's one every week, every day except Monday. Mm -hmm. And what's another way that we could be healthier? <laughs> okay, so the first one is be skeptical of the news you hear. Oh, and the skeptical, second right. is uh, shop at farmer's markets. Right. And the third is find communities for this. Use the social media tools to, to reach out to it. Um, a while ago, I started looking on Twitter to see, you know, who's really talking about this, what's really going on, and then I did it in Facebook and YouTube, and I found, and, and blogs as well, I found enormous amounts of people talking about it. Like, if my Twitter stream now, my Facebook, and my YouTube, my blogs, everything I'm reading now is about like 70% of this, and I'm kind of getting like inundated with it now, where I kind of want to bring it back down a little bit, so um, that answers the question. If I'm skeptical of the news, where can I turn to? Social media has plenty of it going on, and that's, that's really where the change is coming from. Thank mm -hmm. you.